Hey everyone, Wandering Bard here, and today I'm going to be revisiting Final Fantasy XVI. When I beat the game a few months ago, I did make a few character videos for characters like Clive, Dion, and even one for Benedicta, but I'm not satisfied with where I left off. There's more that needs to be done with the game, more stories that need to be told. So today I'm going to be going back to Final Fantasy XVI, and I'm going to start, of course, with the coolest, most awesome and beloved character in the game, Torgal. What, you thought I meant him? I'll do a video on him later. Today I'm analyzing the dog. And who's this fine hound I see before me? So Torgal is, as said, a fine hound. But before that, he was just a cub who was found alone in a snowfield by Duke Elwyn, Clive's father. Given that we later learn that Torgal's true nature is a frost wolf, it's unclear whether the cold ever bothered him anyway, but Duke Elwyn didn't know that. He just saw a lone cub with the snow, rescued it, and brought him back to his children and to Jill, where he became a loyal friend to the Rossfield family. So loyal, in fact, that when Clive, Joshua, and Duke Elwyn had to leave Rosalith for Phoenix Gate, he somehow managed to escape the city and find them. And then everything went completely wrong. Joshua, Duke Elwyn, and so many others died, but a few people did survive, including Clive and Torgal. Clive was sent into slavery, and Jill was later captured by the Iron Kingdom, leaving Torgal all alone. For the 13 years that followed, Torgal searched tirelessly for his family, sleeping in an old house he and Clive used to visit, and finding any traces of his scent that he could get his paws on. Eventually, he ended up in Sid's care, and when Sid went off to rescue the rumored dominant of Shiva from the Iron Blood, Torgal was reunited with Clive and Joe once more. And from that moment on, Torgal dedicated himself completely to helping Clive, no matter what stood in their way. When fighting monsters in the forest, he is there. When fighting Benedicta's wind elementals, he is there. When fighting soldiers from Walud, he is there. When fighting Benedicta herself, he is there. When Gav needs rescuing from the Empire, he is there. When fighting the Fallen's ancient constructs, he is there. When fighting Akashic humans and dragons, he is there. When Ultima tries to kill Clive, he is there. When fighting the Dalmex and their pet cat, he is there. When fighting soldiers and monsters at the Iron Kingdom's Mother Crystal inside a volcano, he is there. When Jill needs to be rescued from Hugo, he is there, in an epic fashion may I add. When destroying more Mother Crystals across Valisthea, he is there. When fighting Barnabas, Sleipner, and an entire freaking army, he is there. And when Jill needs support and comfort in her darkest hour, he is there. This dog is the epitome of man's best friend, and all because man decided to be his best friend. So go into the comments section and use hashtag I love Torgal to show support for Final Fantasy's goodest boy. And uh, please consider subscribing to the channel while you're there. I actually do make character analysis videos on days that are not April 1. Let me know if you want to see more fun stuff like this, though. I do have a few ideas. Until then, I hope you have a good one. I'll see you next time. Later.